Hello beautifuls, welcome back to Skincare with Ashley where I help you perfect your skincare needs. All of you, thank you so much for clicking on this video, it means so much to me. And if you're new to this channel, well, why not consider subscribing, joining the family so we can all just geek out on skincare together and hopefully by the end have perfect skin. So today I'm going to be doing a review of two Carbon Theory products. So I've actually got a charcoal and tea tree cleanser to talk about and I've got a purifying tonic as well which is basically like an exfoliating toner so if you guys are interested in these two products stick around if at any point you do like the video give it a thumbs up it'll do a lot for my channel but let's get started with it so I'm going to start off with the cleanser but before we get into that I just want to start by saying that Carbon Theory is a cruelty free brand I do think all their products are vegan as well all their products are targeted at people who've got oily, acne prone skin. This is called the Charcoal and Tea Tree Oil Breakout Control Facial Cleansing Wash. When I look at the ingredients, there are four star ingredients that stand out to me. So first of all, there's the charcoal. Charcoal is going to help absorb excess oil, excess sebum from your pores, clearing it out. It's got tea tree. Tea tree is an anti-inflammatory. It's got antiseptic properties. It's also got antioxidant properties as well. Just going to help with your spots, with your breakout. It's got shea butter. Shea butter has got antioxidant properties. It can help to moisturize your skin. It's rich in fatty acids. It's just going to help your skin barrier. And it's got salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, again, like the charcoal, is going to clear out your pores. It's actually going to penetrate deep into your pores. And it's actually found that salicylic acid can work really fast. So in a cleanser, absolutely fantastic. So when you look at the ingredients, absolutely fantastic. Now, there is a major problem I have with this. I didn't realise when I first used it, but certainly using it more and more, I know I just don't like the product. Now, when you open it up, it smells so strong of tea tree. The bar soap smells so strong of tea tree as well. However, I really enjoyed that, like I said. This really stings my eyes. The tea tree is also so strong, it, it bothers my eyes, even if I don't put it anywhere near. Another thing with it as well is the consistency. It's very much a very liquidy consistency when you think of a cleanser. Personally, I like my cleansers to have a little bit more body. I like them a little bit thicker, a little bit more creamy. Even if it's a gel consistency, I'd like it just a little bit thicker. This is very much a watery consistency, kind of like just flies everywhere. And I think that's also one of the reasons why it seems to get around your eyes or in your eyes easily and just sting. So I don't like using this. But let's move on to the next product, which is a little bit nicer. So now let's talk about this tea tree oil and citric acid breakout control facial purifying tonic a cute bottle might I say I do quite like the bottle of this now again we're going to start off with the ingredients so it's got lactic acid lactic acid is an AHA it's going to work in a similar way to glycolic acid but it's not as strong it's not as harsh it's also a little bit moisturizing as well so it's going to break down dead skin cells on the top layer of your skin in turn that's just going to give you a nice healthier glow it's got bilberry extract which is rich in antioxidants it's got tea tree once again like the cleanser it's got willow bark which has got skin soothing properties it's also got meadow sweet extract as well which has got antioxidant properties again going to help soothe the skin so overall the ingredient list is really fantastic it's also got the citric acid now they do say on the front that it's formulated with pink grapefruit extract as well now the pink grapefruit extract is actually pink grapefruit oil so it is an essential oil they've got essential oil from lemon as well so they're going to add fragrance to the product however it can be a little bit irritating to people who've got allergies to fragrance so keep that in mind it can also be quite sensitizing if you've got quite the damaged skin barrier 
or if you go out to the sun so you do need to definitely use sunscreen if you're going to use this product now i do have a little bit of an issue with this because it does say on the back that you can use morning and night it also doesn't really say anything about it being an exfoliator now i know it's an exfoliator i can tell by the ingredients i would just know anyway if I saw something saying, you know, tea tree oil and citric acid, purifying tonic. However, I don't think they are doing the best for themselves, saying that it can be used morning and night. I don't think it actually says as well that you should use sunscreen when you use this product. So I definitely would prefer if that was written on the packaging. But now let's talk about my thoughts when I've used this product. So... I've been using it as an exfoliator I haven't been using it twice a day definitely not I've kind of just been reaching for it when I feel like reaching for it when I first started using it I was using it a little bit more often so I think on a daily basis definitely a strong product I definitely can feel a little bit of stinging when I use it it is a little bit irritating at the start not overly not too much but you can definitely feel that it's doing a little bit of something now i think if you're not used to ahas i think if you're not used to chemical exfoliators you probably wouldn't want to start with this and i also think if you are quite used to chemical exfoliators anyway like i am i've used glycolic acid a lot and um I use salicylic acid products a lot as well and I've just used a lot of different things that are going to help exfoliate my skin whether it's mild or it's quite strong. I can actually feel that this is fairly strong on my skin so I don't know I don't think it's suitable for everyone however me myself how I have used this as well a couple of times if I don't want the full effect, I don't want to leave it on for a very long time, like overnight, I would use this before I go in with my clay mask. And then once I rinse it off, I'm going to be rinsing this off as well, at least the residue. I'm going to be rinsing this off so you could use it that way. But personally, I do actually quite like this because I think it's quite efficient. I think it's quite effective in what it does. I think you wouldn't have to wait too long to start seeing a lot of brightening, a lot of nice effects from it. I think it's got a nice fragrance. It's just mainly the stinging. At first, when I started using it, I thought, I don't really like this very much. But I think it's very nice and hydrating. Definitely something I look for. Before in the past, I used to think if I'm going to exfoliate my skin with a toner, it's not going to be hydrating, it's going to be stripping to the skin. And I think it's just the alcohol and all of that that I'm used to having in my product. This has got no alcohol at all. It feels quite hydrating on the skin. It feels quite moisturising. It has got a number of ingredients which are going to help soothe the skin. But I just think with the lactic acid, probably with the tea tree, with the citric acid with all the essential oils and everything that's input in this i think it's definitely one that can be quite irritating to people but i've been using this when i use this i go in with my paula's choice calm repairing serum and i have no issues i think they work really fantastic together so do i recommend this then well, actually, I do recommend this, but only for people who are experienced with exfoliating acids. I recommend if you want to exfoliate once or maximum twice a week. That's how I'm going to be using this. It's definitely not one I'd use daily. Most definitely, please don't use it morning and night. I don't think it's going to be great for your skin. But I think it's a nice one. I am enjoying using it. I am glad I've got it. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to repurchase it again, to be honest. I don't think I will repurchase it again, but I definitely do give it about a 7 out of 10. It's just a shame that it doesn't live up to my expectation. This, I don't know, maybe about a 4 out of 10. So that is everything, guys. I've thoroughly enjoyed coming on here, talking to you once again. And if you guys have enjoyed this video... 
give it a thumbs up until the next time all of you keep looking after your skin